Did you know many people confuse insects we know as sandflies with mosquitoes? They look a bit alike, but in fact they're very different. I'm Bob Killick Kendrick, a specialist in leishmaniasis, and I'm your host for this first episode of What's Biting My Dog? Sandflies are important because they carry leishmaniasis, a terrible disease that can affect humans and other animals, including your dog. This disease is caused by a microscopic parasite, about three to five micrometers, that belongs to the genus Leishmania. It was discovered by a Scottish pathologist, William Boog Leishman. That's why we call it Leishmania. In Mediterranean countries, the dog serves as a reservoir for the parasite. When a sandfly bites, the parasite in this phase called a promastigote is injected into the skin of the dog. Here it transforms from a promastigote into an amastigote using various cells of the dog as a host. With the transformation, these host cells are destroyed and in due course the dog develops clinical signs. These signs can be divided into visceral clinical signs and cutaneous clinical signs. Veterinarians in risky areas pay great attention to clinical signs in dogs, especially after the summer. In certain areas of the Mediterranean, the so-called endemic areas, 60 to 80 percent of unprotected dogs can be infected. About 10 percent of these develop the disease. However, with global warming resulting in the extension of the habitat of the sandfly, in combination with global traveling, veterinarians in lower risk areas should also be aware of the existence of the disease. A dog infected with leishmania can be a terrible sight and it usually has a big impact on the family. Once the veterinarian has diagnosed the infection, a dog can be treated with various pharmaceutical products. But the use of these drugs may cause serious side effects and the threat of resistance to the drug is just around the corner. Moreover, a dog is never completely cured from leishmaniasis. The parasite remains present somewhere in the dog, although it will remain latent. Unfortunately, no effective vaccines against leishmaniasis exist in Europe, although many organisations are researching this. It's best to protect your dog from sandfly bites, for example, by using a delta methrin impregnated dog collar that stops most of the sandflies from biting. These collars give protection for about six months. They're odorless and water resistant. But you should keep your dog indoors at dusk because that's the time when sandflies go hunting for a blood meal. Do you want to know how many times a dog can be bitten by a sandfly in a single night? We're going to talk about that and a lot of other interesting things in the next episode of What's Biting My Dog.